Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorial I'd like to show you how to reuse last command with Creo Parametric. I have created this utility based on the question of my colleague, so I'd like to thank for this question and I was thinking about that it is possible to reuse last command. I will show you how it works and you can download it directly on my web page. So stay tuned and I will show you everything, how it works and what to do. You have your PTC Creo Parametric 4.0 icon, for example, on your desktop, desktop. And if you go here to Properties tab, you can see where the system will start. For example, my Creo starting in D user Creo 4.0. So what does it mean? If I will open this folder you can see here that right now is empty. If you start the Creo, system will create here necessary configuration options or folders and files. And if you will start working with Creo, the system write every information to tray file, read information from config files. If you change some preferences here, for example, I create some modification of this icons here. So system can store and read the data directly from these files. I cleared these files because I'd like to see and focus on this folder right now. Okay, so you know, right now you understand how the system read information and where the configuration file are stored directly are stored in default folder for Creo installation. I will show you later. And this is the second option where the system reads the configuration files. If you would like to set up a repeat last command function with Creo, you need to understand where the system create the trail file. So this is the first step. And if you will go to my page, 4ksi.com, and you will go to download page, you, you can find here a lot of information what you can download and I added new tab here and it's the possible to download exe file or zip file of the repeat last command. I will add slowly more information here but we need to finish that first explanation how it works. Okay, so download the data. It's really small application and if you run this application the system asks you select or browse trail folder so you can browse or you can really easy use the control v and control c yeah control copy and control p sorry and then what you would like to specify is select creo data code folder so you can use your default installation or you can have a look here that I specified my custom installation and for example T applic Creo 4M20. So it depends about the data code, what you use, the system read this information. So again, you can browse, you can use the browse Creo folder or you can directly copy only information here. If you specify trail folder and where the Creo folder is installed, so you can install repeat last command application. System will copy and create some files and the question is where the files are placed. The play, the main placement is in the on the C drive program data and you can see here that is 4k site subfolder and repeat last command subfolder. System create necessary information here and only for your information because you need to understand how it works over there is some source parameters so this is the trail file folder yeah it's a path from the installation and then system creates for you some readme files some map key favorite icons and so on over here is uh, one exe file this exe file is automatically copied to your start folder so if you restart your computer, the system will automatically start the small exe file. So I will start it right now. I don't want to restart my computer. And the system 
will start the application here. Yes, yeah, so you can see the system starting with Windows Start. If you don't want to run, run it, you can use the right mouse button, you use exit and system will close, repeat, last command application. So it means you, you don't want to use it. Okay, so continue with understanding how it works or some example or explanation. So right now I start again my Creo Parametric 4.0. And I like to create, for example, some new 3D model, for example, WQ. And over here in this example, I'd like to create maybe another new 3D model. So you can use the create new or you can reuse the last command. Use control and spacebar and system will activate the last command. And you can see here that right now I activated and I can start to create a new model, for example, the Q2. If you would like to have a look here, you can see that I have created two objects. Okay, it's not so problem here eh, because you can start create new one. Yeah, but I'd like to show you more. Go to the sketch, for example, create new sketch and directly over here in the sketch, create some rectangle. Yeah, if you finish the feature, the last used feature was create rectangle. So again, if you use the control spacebar, the system read the last command and you can create one more time rectangle. If you will follow, for example, circle, finish circle, last command is circle, control spacebar, system will read last command and you can create another circle. If you finish this information and you would like to, for example, extrude this sketch, you can extrude this sketch, confirm button. And again, you would like to extrude sketch, control space bar and system will create and load the last command it was extrude. So you can go on opposite side or you can use something different. For example, you would like to use the function edit definition. Yeah, so you would like to change it a little bit. Or you would like to use the edit definition for first one. So go to extrude one, control space bar and system will use the edit definition because the last command was edit definition. So you can use it for the 3D modeling, for the sketch, for assembly component or for the drawing. So for example, if I will create new 2D drawing, yeah. So the name of the drawing will be Q2. I will use some empty page, for example, A3, some information here, and I will create general view. Yeah. So over here is my general view. You know that is the possible to set up the view visibility and some preferences. Okay. Or you would like to create new general view. So select control spacebar system will load that you would like to apply again last command general view and you, you can reuse it. If you will create projection view, for example, last command is projection view, select view and use the control space bar and you can follow and create some projection view again, again. So the, I create for you the application, really small one, which is still running on the background with starting of windows and you can use it you can try and i hope so that this repeat last command with creo will be really helpful for you and you will enjoy it you will start to use it if you feel that this application is useful yep go to my page and donate my new application for you repeat last command thanks for your time and donation too stay in touch vladimir bye bye